All right, so today I'm going to go over the use of the creator tag. And the creator tag is the preferred method of keeping track of player kills in a Roblox game. In this one, I'm going to add um, the capability of keeping track of PVP kills. So NPCs is not in this one, but I could add that pretty easily. And the one thing you're gonna to have to do, you're gonna to have to be responsible for, is when you go to your toolbox and get a weapon, uh, the weapon maker has to know about that whole creator tag thing. Now Roblox does, right? So uh, buy Roblox and get this classic sword. And I'm going to show you how to check for it just to make sure your weapon has it. So we have our classic sword. I'm going to do a control shift F and I'm going to check all of my scripts. So if you're checking a sword, don't check it in a game where you have a whole bunch of scripts, go to a fresh game, then do your checks. And if you like it, save it off. All right. So we'll go here, we're gonna do find all. You can see I already typed that creator in right before the video. I'll find all, and I got lots of results for creator. And it's all based on two methods here. Let me just double click this. There we go. Actually, I think a single click works. Yeah, it does work. All right, we have this tag humanoid. And this is the typical way that they add a tag, that the uh, creators add a tag to their weapon so that they can tag the humanoid when you get a kill. This is the humanoid that you hit. This is the player that actually has the weapon. So we have an object value for the creator tag. The name should be creator to be consistent. Um, the player is going to be the value and that's the player who did the hitting, right? Not the player who's dying. The humanoid is the one who's dying. And that's this guy right here. Then we're gonna use the debris service and we're gonna add an item to the debris service and it'll, it'll give it a two second or about two second time to live. So you can modify this. That way if you hit them and they run through lava and die within that two seconds, you still get, you still get the, the kill for that. Um, another thing that they do, that a lot of people do, and this is very consistent, is they untag the humanoid of anybody else's tag when you hit them. So you'll see this untag right before you tag let's take a look so we have our tag and untag humanoid let's see if they implemented them because some people copy weapons and then they don't implement the actual tagging process so i'm going to bring up my my control shift f i'm going to bring up my search window here and i had untag humanoid um, under the search results we can use that i'm just going to i'm going to i'm going to look at the tagging part that's the one i'm more interested in right there we go there we go, tag humanoid, that's our function, that's our other function. Let's click on this right here. Ah, oh, look at that. Right before take damage, they do untag everybody else, and then they tag with the person who used this weapon. So the humanoid is gonna have your tag on there. If they die within two seconds or you die from that blow, you'll get credit if you implement it on your side, on your leaderboard side. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Let's go over to our leaderboard because this weapon is good. It's perfectly consistent. We'll go, we'll get rid of that and move this down a little bit. Let's go to our server script service and hook up our leaderboard for this creator tag thing so we can get credit for our kills. Let's call it leader stats. Let me make it a little bigger for you. There we go. Local function add board player. And then I'm going to just call the leaderboard board instance dot new folder, folder or model. Player will be the parent. The board's name must be leader stats. And now let's add a metric and it's going to be kills instance of new int value. And this parent is going to be the board, right? So we're going to put the kills on the board, the board on the player. And now the kills name, this is how it's going to show up, right? Kills. We don't need to initialize it. It'll initialize a zero. Um, let's go ahead and get a local function on char added. And the character is going to be passed in. I call it char. We're going to do another function for on player added. And we'll get a player for that. And then let's get the game 
players, whoops, another dot, player added event, colon, and connect that to on player added. All right, on on player added, let's add our board, pass in the player, and then we'll do our, let's see, player character added event and connect it to on char added. All right, so every time we die and get into the world, we're gonna add another event, and that one is going to be for the humanoid. So I need to get my humanoid. I'll get it from my char, I'll wait for child. Get my humanoid. And my humanoid has a died event. That way we don't have to wait for the character removing like I did in the other video. Is this will fire as soon as you die. We're gonna to connect to an anonymous function. Despite the fact I don't really like anonymous functions, it's perfect for this one. So we're gonna get our tag. So human, hum, find huh, first child creator. All right. And luckily, a lot of people know this, so this will, this is very consistent. All right, let's see. We're gonna, if the tag exists, some people don't. Some people don't have a creator tag on their weapon, so we have to make sure. Say so local, I'm gonna call it E player for, this is the enemy player. This isn't your player, this is the enemy. We're gonna get the tag value. Remember, that's the person who was wielding the weapon. Then we're gonna get the kills metric. From the E player, leader, stats, and kills. It's going to be the the name, right? It's not going to be the variable. It's going to be the name, so it's capital. All right, now we'll get our kills. Dot value, kills dot value plus one. That's looking good. So once we die, uh, every, we're going to connect this event. So every time we die and come into the world, we reconnect our died event to this uh, mechanism to look for tags. I'm going to go ahead to test. I'm going to have two players, and I'm going to hit my start so I can test it out. I'll just pause this because it takes a while for my test server to start. All right, there we go. We're in my game. Ah, oh, there's a sword. Look, I'm just standing there. He doesn't even know he's going to die. I'm going to get credit for it. And ha. there, look at that. Got my kills. Now let's just make sure that we get another one when he comes back in. We want to make sure that that um, died event reconnects. And here we go. There we go. I got two kills. So that is the best way of keeping track of kills for your uh, PvP games.